Welcome, this is the clean install of Windows 7 using an upgrade disk to erase your hard drive and start fresh. With the Windows 7 disk in the drive, restart the computer and tap F11 over and over again until you see this screen and press any key. Wait for it. It'll process. You'll come to this screen here. Go ahead and select your language, English for me. Go ahead and click install now. Just have a little patience there, it takes a second to get going. This is the license terms. You can go ahead and scroll through and read its usual Microsoft licensing term. This next part's real important. You need to click custom, not upgrade, custom. Now here's where we run into some issues. You can highlight and go ahead and select the drives and erase them, but you're erasing your drivers. You're erasing everything. Understand that, and then you're going to override it. Go ahead and read my warnings at the bottom of the post here on the YouTube channel before you can go ahead and go through with all this because you might not be able to recover your computer if you're not sure what you're doing. You need to be able to make sure you can get these drivers back. You'll need them for it to operate correctly. After you get it, go ahead and select the drive. Go ahead and move forward there. And uh, we're going to go ahead and do some fast forwarding here because it takes quite a while to install. You can actually walk away and let this go ahead and uh, do its thing. After it gets finally installed, you'll see the screens jump through a couple different things. It'll restart on its own. Just be patient. It'll keep going and installing all of Windows 7, essentially overwriting all your pre-existing information. It's not a formatting, though. It is just a deletion. All right, here we go. This is the point where you're going to go ahead and name your PC whatever you want to call it. Um, we just named it something simple here. Go ahead and create yourself a uh, password. Uh, that'll be, if you walk away from your screen, you can lock your screen so forth, prevent people from getting quick, immediate access to your computer uh, without your knowledge if you leave it running or if they uh, power it up on their own without permission. It forces you to type some sort of hint. You can type whatever you want in there. Um, just some sort of reminders. This is important. Do not enter the product key. Do not enter the product key. Just go forward and hit next. Then go into use recommended settings. Go ahead and pick your time. Hit next again and it'll start bringing everything up and we're almost done. It's just doing the final stages here. After Windows starts, you can go ahead and activate Windows and enter your key at that point. That is the difference between the upgrade and the clean install. If you enter the key at the earlier point, it will lock you back out and only allow you to do an upgrade. If you skip it, this will allow an upgrade disk to do a full clean install of Windows. But understand all your drivers are missing. Read that warning like I said. You need to recover all your drivers now to get your video card working, etc. Um, from here you'll go ahead and install updates, so forth. That's it. I appreciate it. Thanks a lot for watching. Be
believe it or not, George isn't at home. Please leave a message at the beep. I must be out.